All right, quadcopter 101 here on an absolutely gorgeous day out here in the desert. Uh, wildflowers are in bloom right and left around here. Uh, beautiful day. Excellent day to go flying too. Uh, what I'd like to do today is talk about the uh, Tarantula X6 and its uh, Hyper IOC function. I believe that's Intelligent Orientation Control, which is really uh, just a headless mode. But it's a an effective headless mode that you could actually possibly use as a return to home feature. Um, what the Tarantula has that other uh, headless mode quadcopters uh, do not have, I believe, is that it uses a magnetic compass to remember the initial heading that you set for the headless mode. And what that comes in effective is that throughout your flight, if you get disoriented, um, to f get yourself back to uh, your location, you could set the headless mode and if, say, if you can point your uh, transmitter in the direction of uh, the base heading that you set, and let's say the quadcopter is off to the uh, forward left area, to bring it back to you, all you got to do is uh, point your pitch roll stick 180, 180 degrees or exactly opposite from the direction that the quadcopter is, and it should come right back to you. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate that in flight today. Uh, let's just go right into it, and I'll discuss it as we're flying. Um, for this flight, I'm going to include my 808 number 16 V3 keychain camera attached to the quadcopter. And what I got attached to my hat, of course, is my Mobius. Uh, I'd like to use my Mobius because most of this video is going to be of the ground so that we can see the quadcopter uh, more easily off in the distance. Okay, let's go into a flight. Okay, I have the quadcopter pointed toward that mountain in the distance there. That will be our base heading. So when we get lost, I'm going to point the transmitter directly at that and bring the quadcopter back based on uh, the relative direction that the quadcopter is from, these, from this transmitter. So again, if the quadcopter is off in that quadrant, all I got to do is point in the exact opposite direction. If it's behind me, all I got to do is point again in the exact opposite direction from where it is based on 360 degrees from that uh, base heading. Okay, I'm binding the quadcopter now. Quadcopter's bound, the camera is recording. Let's send it up for a flight and then I'll enter, I'll send it off into the distance and then enter into headless mode. Okay, let's say we go off in that direction there and then I lose orientation. So I, I press down. Okay, it's off in that direction, so all I gotta do is point it to the right and it should come back to me. Let's exit. Okay, let's send it off, say over to the far right. Okay, I lost orientation. I'm pointing my transmitter, so I'm pointing at 180 degrees and it comes right back to me. Okay, exiting headless mode again. Let's send it off in that direction. Okay, uh-oh, I've lost orientation. I point my transmitter, activate it, point it in the opposite direction from where it's at, and what do you know, it comes right back to me. So again, this remembers that heading throughout the flight. It remembers the heading throughout the flight, so if you get, if you lose the orientation, all you got to do again is point the transmitter in your base heading, and then move the stick, the pitch roll stick, in the exact opposite direction from where the quadcopter is. See? Again, I don't want to send it toward the sun. Let's fly it off uh, to the right rear quadrant. Point in the opposite direction, and it comes right back to me. Turn it off, uh, headless mode. Let's fly it again over, over that way. Okay, I've lost orientation, activating headless mode, pointing the transmitter toward the base heading and moving the stick in the opposite direction from where the quadcopter's at, and here it comes. Right back to me. 
it works. It actually works. Again, um, the only other quadcopter that I've seen it had this feature that or tried to attempt this feature was the V636. It had a uh, supposedly had a headless mode that would remember the initial base heading, but that one was based on a gyro on using the gyroscopes to try to remember the base heading. This one, I actually believe, uses an actual magnetic compass. Uh, with that in mind, this is a far superior uh, headless mode compared to all other quadcopters I've seen that tried to activate that feature to date. Okay, I'm in the far uh, right forward quadrant, activating headless mode, pushing back to the left back quadrant, and here it comes, right back to me. Again, this can be used as a return to home feature. You just need to practice it a little bit. Again, use a big open field if you're going to do that. Very cool quad copter. The V, or Tarantula X6. I was confusing it with the V636 because of the headless feature. Now again, let's, let's send it way out there since this has such great range. Okay, it's way out there, about 200 meters. Activating headless. Pulling it back to the left and to the right since it's in the forward or to the right and back and here it comes back to me great feature a headless mode that works <laughs> and it doesn't forget it now wind let's talk about wind a second wind can add a, a vector to that uh, movement of this quadcopter um, so say you're off in a direction there and there is a wind, you may notice a bearing drift. The quadcopter may not come directly back to you. But all you need to do is stay calm and just keep correcting, pointing the stick in the exact opposite direction from where the quadcopter's at. For example, right now i got a little bit of breeze coming from forward here, activating headless mode. But if you just keep moving it in the exact opposite direction from where it's at, based on that base heading, it will come back to you. You just have to stay calm with the wind because you're going to also notice a bearing drift. It may move in a direction. It may not appear to be coming back to you, but if you just keep adjusting, keeping it in the exact opposite quadrant from where it's at, it will eventually come back to you. Now notice when you activate headless mode, it lets you know. You'll hear that beeping. So if you don't hear that beeping, you're not in headless mode. Keep that in mind. <laughs> or Hyper IOC. <laughs> I'm going to expert here. Bringing it back to me, pulling back. And also applying, notice I'm applying yaw at the same time. It works every time. Very cool quadcopter. I want to bring it overhead a second and check those lights. Okay, everything's fine. Oh, by the way, when you enter headless mode or hyper IOC, the lights flash on this thing, so it's not the... Um, Low voltage warning. It's actually just letting you also know that you're in headless mode. So if you're flying at night with this thing, the, the lights will be flashing. Okay, I just want to do a little bit of fun flying now with this. Okay, I'm out past 200 meters, 300 meters in the forward right quadrant, headering headless mode, pulling back to the back left quadrant. Pulling back, adjusting as it's moving because there is a wind. Always keeping it 180 degrees from where it's at. Let's send it back out there again and I'll show you what I mean. There's a wind up there. Okay, and forward right quadrant, so I pull it back to the left, back quadrant, forward right quadrant, back left quadrant, and adjusting as it's moving. Always adjusting, and it eventually comes back to you. That's with the wind.
Let's do that again. The wind's blowing again from that direction. Let's move it over here. Oh, let's see. Okay, pulling it back and to the left. Okay, adjusting because it's the wind's blowing it. See how that uh, bearing changes with the wind, but I'm also keeping it exact opposite direction from where it's at based on that uh, direction there and it eventually does come back to you okay you just have to stay calm or calm and cool <laughs> okay well that's all I wanted to demonstrate that you can use hyper IOC for return to home okay I'm confused which way is it <laughs> setting it it's off to the left uh, forward so back rear and adjusting always adjusting in the opposite direction from where it's at and it brings it back to you so you just got to keep that in mind wind wind may confuse you there but if you just keep adjusting the stick from where it's at it will eventually come back to you okay I'm gonna bring this quadcopter in on flyby MJX X400 Let's send it out one more time out into the distance there. Yeah, I'm good, good 200, 250 meters away. Turning into the wind and decreasing throttle. Bringing it back to me. Great quadcopter. Tarantula X6. Well, I hope you enjoyed that flight. I hope you learned something. How to use the Hyper IOC function on this quadcopter as a return home feature. It actually does work. So, Quadcopter 101 signing off with a Tarantula X6. Hope you enjoyed the flight.